everyone, welcome back to the freaking vlog. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. Alhamdulillah, I am feeling really refreshed this morning. I was kind of sick from editing last week's video, Dallas Diaries, the, the second one. Um, I, was, I wasn't feeling the best. I think I was, I was editing a lot on my desk and my posture was really messed up. So that entire night I wasn't able to sleep. I only slept like three hours at night and it really messed up a lot of the nerves in my neck. But it's been a couple days since then, Alhamdulillah, and I'm really glad to be filming again. All right. I want to give a huge thank you and a really big shout out to Ergear for sponsoring this week's video. So this is Ergear's height adjustable standing desk. I can tell it's going to be one of my favorite places to study and work. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It features this beautiful brown color wood finish and also comes in black if that's what you're interested in. Honestly, I've always wanted a standing desk in my living room because my room is my solitude, is my comfort spot. But if there's ever a time that I want to do long periods of studying or long periods of working, then I can come to this desk and I can use it. And if I ever get tired of sitting down, it comes with three custom settings for your height adjustments. So if you are sitting down for hours on end and you want to stand up, you can change the height of your desk at the click of a button. Ergear does not mess around when they're making their desks. This is such a heavy duty desk. I think you're able to put 176 pounds of force on top of the table and it can still adjust its height and that's how heavy duty it is. But nonetheless, this desk also comes with those little holes in the front that you can wire your cables through if you are using a monitor or if you have any other LED lights that you want to spice up with this desk. Um, it is budget friendly so if you guys do want to check it out, I'm going to have the link in the description and thank you again very much to Ergear for sponsoring today's video so what i have planned for us today is right now i'm going to be headed to my hairstylist and i'm going to be getting a haircut inshallah i have never in my life in louisiana and over here ever found a barber that can give me the haircut that i want to because of my face shape i go into extreme like detail when i get my haircuts i try to like explain my face shape my head shape my hairline how my hair grows my hair texture all those little things matter and it's very rare that i find someone that knows what they're doing um for those of you that ask on my instagram uh whatever i get on my hair Haircut. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my hair today. I'm kind of tired of my long hair So I kind of want to go with something shorter But nonetheless, I'm going to reveal it to you guys at the end of the haircut And I'll tell you guys what I got and how I go about it and what you should kind of tell your barber because I know some of you guys struggle with that So today's gonna be the first time I'm going and I'm excited because I need to get a haircut. I feel like I have a mop on top of my head, but nonetheless inshallah after the haircut I'm going to be meeting up with my videographer Jason and we're going to be filming a very detailed chest workout for you guys I'm going to be doing a voiceover over that segment um, Just to kind of give you guys a full detail of how I'm growing my chest What am I what I am doing to kind of just get stronger and bigger in the gym inshallah? Absolutely killed it. Look at that. I can't stop smiling, bro. So this is the final look of what I got for my haircut today. It is a lot different than typically what I ask for when I go to my barbers. Um, so I think I elaborated a little bit about this in the beginning of the video, but I genuinely have never found a barber or a hairstylist or a salon that can cut my hair the way that I want it to be cut. I'm very conscious when I cut my hair because your face shape, your hairline, your physique, all of it kind of comes into play. And when I explain those things to hairstylists or barbers, they think that I'm kind of crazy and they think that those things don't matter when it comes to your haircut. But your hair is a very accentuating element to your overall presence as a person, you know? And also like in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gives us permission to beautify ourselves, you know? And he, I think hair is, at least for men, and for women as well, of course, but you guys have to wear hijabs. But for men, it's like a huge part of how people view you. If you have healthy hair, if you have clean hair. I've been wanting to try out this haircut. I'm like looking in the viewfinder. It's a little bit flat right now because I made wudu because I had to pray. Uh, um, but yeah, that's basically it. And um, so what did I actually tell my barber when I got this haircut? I told him that I want my sides to be short, but I don't want them to be too short where a scalp shows, right? For me, the main thing is I don't like it when too much of my scalp is shown because I feel like kind of makes my hair just look really wonky. I want it to look more of like a piece of art. Not saying that heavy fades aren't a piece of art, 
but personally myself I think that I just look better when I have a more full head of hair so we kept it I think the sides the, the, the top sides is like a four and we were able to taper it down to a size two maybe two and a half ish at the very very ends just around the corners and for the top I told him that I want it to be long enough so where I can style it forward and my hair's texture is it, it starts off straight but then it gets into wavy so keeping that in mind the hair had to be left not too short but long enough to the point where my hair could kind of curl over on top of my hair and i don't have to worry about it for a couple of weeks until my next haircut inshallah and that's kind of it that's kind of what i told them is it sounds basic but it's very important that your barber understands what you want when you're getting your haircut or else if you're gonna go in there with references and you're gonna come out with something completely different I don't know if by the time this clip goes up, I maybe have mentioned it in a past vlog, or I mentioned that probably this is probably going to be the first time me mentioning it. But back in October of 2020, I released 300 shirts and I launched alongside my clothing line called Sacred Clothing, and we sold out in less than one hour. And since then, I've been doing a lot of thinking. So. I'm pretty sure you guys can already tell like what the heck are in these boxes. You guys don't know. I got some samples. The company that I'm working with told me that they sent it like two days ago. And I'm I'm actually mind blown how fast this got here. I want to document me opening it up for the first time. So this is like the first ever proper sample of like clothing that I like direction that I want to I want to go into, you know, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So it's really special to me. Oh, I didn't expect two boxes. Oh damn bro, it comes in a fancy box? What the hell is this? I'm excited to see the colors and the designs um, and how it came out in real life because it's one thing when you design a product digitally, it's a whole other thing when you have it with you in your hands. And what do I have in my hands? Something that I designed. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what I'm expecting it to smell like. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if I want to show them though. I'm only going to show you guys maybe one product out of the six or eight that I'm sampling. Um, just to keep more of like a mystery of how everything else is going to look. Inshallah when I do decide the final products for the launch. Okay, I think I'm gonna share this part with them. Damn, this is like quality, bro. This is like stuff you find in like, come here, feel this, bro. Feel that, bro, just feel it in your hands. Oh, That's wow. like a proper hoodie, right? This is a heavy, this will keep you warm. Got proper. In winter season, yeah. Damn. Nice. I don't know what I was expecting. Even the green, the green looks. It's a nice color, yeah. It looks it's like it's like a rich type of green. Wow. The inside is nice too. Wow, it's bro. Like I kind of want it to be a bit, I want it, I want it to drop down a bit lower because when the hoodie is down there, yeah, I, want the pop, is yeah, I probably want like this to be dropped down to the center. I did a really good job on the logo. Yeah, all right, so this is the product that I'm going to show you guys. I don't even like segue into this segment. I don't, I'm too excited to speak, so I'm just gonna show you guys like the sample that we got. So basically, this is the first look of the new and redesigned kind of logo. For sacred, it looks pretty badass. So this is one of the colorways that we're doing for the green. I remember I told myself oh, if I am going to be putting out products again, the first thing that I want you guys to look at, or the first thing that I want to put out, is going to be something green. And this, I'm in love, bro. Bro, this is actually really dope. Okay, so this is the back design. It says 777 for you, thousand times, which is a quote. Which I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that up to interpretation, whatever you want it to be. So this is just one of the designs. Well, I have. I think four to five designs that are coming out. Yeah, so we can add reference. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna show you guys another design because I'm like hella excited about it. And because you've already seen the design, it's just on another product. So I'm coming out with tote bags, inshallah. Also, these are, this is another sample. Um, it's like a neutral color along with the exact same print. But I think this design just looks a lot better on a tote bag. Like this just looks classy as heck. It just looks like an elegant tote bag. Like if I'm going to be walking around the streets of New York or London or some big city and I'm going to be carrying a tote bag, I definitely want it to look like this, like especially with the divider. So yeah guys, that is basically a couple of samples of things that I've been keeping from you guys. 
I've been working behind the scenes. I really want to relaunch uh, Sacred and uh, I'm just really excited because I know that you guys are going to be excited about it. And after we sold out all those 300 shirts, the entirety from 2021 and this year, you guys have been asking, when am I going to restock? I'm not restocking those shirts, but these, I'm pretty sure these are going to be exclusive as well. I'm still figuring out the logistics of how I want to release things and like in what order I want them to come out. Um, so yeah, these are actually really good. This green, I'm just so happy that I'm able to create something of this color with a design that I like a lot, you know?